Hi everyone, it's Boo Boo, and welcome to episode 11. Um, I have decided today that I'm going to make a kelp farm to help me with fuel for my smelting system, uh, mainly for the smelting of cobblestone into smooth stone and stone bricks so that I can get on with doing that tower a little bit more. Um, but obviously it'll come in handy for lots of other things as well. As you can see over there, I think you can see that, that I have started to put some moss on the hill on the way up to the tower to make some little azalea um, trees and bushes and things just to decorate that. The pink of the azalea will go nicely with the pink of the roof and the doors of my tower. So there we go. So I'm just going to potter away and collect the materials I need for making a kelp farm. It is gorgeous at night, my little base. Do you like it? Um, I meant to say at the beginning, and the reason that I was standing where I was standing when I did my introduction was because I'm going to build the kelp farm on that little island there. Um, so yeah, forgot to say that, but there you go. So I think I've got everything I need for my kelp farm. Um, I have started a project supplies storage area, which I'm just using a bit of an old mine shaft for. And as with everything else I do, this is very unfinished, but it will get going. So my projects so far, the Guardian farm, I've got my heart of the sea and I've got five Nautilus shells, so I'll soon be able to make a conduit and we'll eventually get on with that. Kelp farm, I think this is everything I'll need. So let's go and build a kelp farm. Uh, I'm using a tutorial, following a tutorial. I will link the tutorial down below. Um, and as I say, we're going to do it on this island. Now, I might get frustrated doing this, um, but we'll see how I get on.
Um, oh, there's an Enderman behind me. This is my kelp farm. Uh, unfortunately, I seem to have lost the footage of the rest of me building this, so sorry you missed that. It probably wasn't that exciting anyway. But anyway, I have put the tutorial um, in linked down below, so you will see how to make it. Um, but anyway, my kelp farm is doing quite well. Quite pleased with it. So down here, you'll see. Actually, I'll show you up here. Basically, my kelp grows. Um, when the observer sees it, the pistons come out, um, and you hopefully will see that uh, while we're standing here. The kelp then gets pushed into the water, which comes down into these hoppers, and then they go into these chests. There's two chests. That, um, uh, just they're both just the same. They're just collecting the kelp, and then the kelp goes down into this hopper and into the smoker. We're gonna work. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to be looking down. This is the input chest for the coal or um, once we get this up and running the kelp blocks. Uh, smokes it and then it comes out in the input chest. So I've got 56 dried kelp in there and 62 in there. And I'm just going to stand here. There's a wee bit of a glitch with the water. Oh. There you go, you see the kelp flying down into the water and the smokers go on. Yeah, there's a wee bit of a glitch in the water there. Um, I don't think it's affecting the performance too much. Um, and because it's not really... I can't really be bothered going in. I probably will at some point. I'll go in and see if I can sort that. But um, anyway, it's not, it's not affecting the performance of the kelp farm. So, that will hopefully run away in the background and make us some fuel. Um, so, the main point of the kelp farm was to get some more fuel because I was finding that I was trying to build this tower up here. I was using a lot of smooth stone and stone bricks and um, I kept running out of coal trying to smelt that all up. So, I guess we need to go and get on with building that. Diamond Rain Mac and my Golden Welly Boot. So I'll go and do a little bit more building on my tower, but I have no design planned. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not a builder. This is very much the whole point of this series is to just improve from being a complete Minecraft noob to being slightly better. Um, so I will just potter about building best I can and figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, let's go.
So it looks a bit boxy and boring at the moment. The plan would be to have some um, more shapes of windows coming out the sides and things. So hopefully we'll add some detail and look a bit better. Um, but yeah, that'll do for just now. Go to bed. I hope it's not raining in the morning. Is still not looking amazing, is it? A little bit of work done on it today. I'll hopefully do a little bit more off camera um, and have a bit more done ready for next episode. Oh, beautiful sunset. Um, so just to round off this episode, let's just go and see if my kelp farm was producing any kelp while I was doing all that. Good. Getting somewhere. Uh, that looks awfully boxy. Bone blocks. Mm, I'm going to have to think of something to put in, I think, for a bit more texture instead of just having plain bone blocks all the way. Probably diorite, diorite or something like that, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, we'll just keep going with it and keep adding to it. Let's see how it looks from the other side. Yeah, just the start of, of the window there. 
Oh, we'll see how we go. Anyway, I really have to go now. That is all the time I have. Um, back to the day job, I'm afraid. So, thank you very much for watching. Oh my goodness, that kelp farm's ugly. Yeah, I'll need to disguise that in some way, I think. <laughs> it's really ugly. Okay, never mind. It's functional. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye!